love even more now than you. I've known Kim pretty much my whole life. It's been such a huge blessing to have been able to grow up with her, and I can't imagine it being anyone else. I know you're younger than me, but I've always looked up to you. Probably why I had such bad style growing up, but that's okay. Uh, me and Darren met probably in grade six. Uh, that's when we really became friends. And uh, yeah, from there, nothing, nothing but a gong show through school. I'd say almost like a brother. Uh, got the same pair of basketball shoes, same badminton racket. Uh, and when we went dirt biking, we also almost had the same dirt bike. His was just a bit newer, of course. Always better than me. And I remember we were just fairly little kids and now we're here celebrating your wedding day. I've had to tell myself every day this week that this is real, that this is really happening, and now you're married. I love you and wish you guys all the best. Open your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> you look very pretty, Kimberly. Thank you. Aww. I'm going to share for the big Family and friends, this is a special day. Right, Darren? I think this is the most I've ever seen you smile. gives this woman to be married to this man. So the first part of making a successful marriage is to know God. Through knowing God, you will know how to love each other, you will know how to love your children, and you'll know how to love your neighbor. You may not do it perfectly, but it is the only way to know perfect love. In the presence of God, and before these witnesses, I, Darren Bannon, take you, Kimberly Dirksen, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish you, and to be faithful to you alone, as long as we both shall live. In the presence of God and before these witnesses, I, Kimberly Dirksen, take you, Darren Bamman, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish you, and to be faithful to you alone, as long as we both shall live. For as much as you, Darren Bandman, and you, Kimberly Dirksen, have made this solemn covenant of marriage before God and before all of us here, you have pledged your vows to each other, you have confirmed them by the joining of your hands, the giving and receiving of a ring, now therefore in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I declare you to be husband and wife. There you may kiss your friend. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. The people keeps missing, the clouds seem to fade. Every occasion I whisper your name. 
anyways, I would have lots of stories to share as well. But one thing I do know is that we love Kimberly very much. And we trust that Darren will provide, take care, and love her as much as we do. 21 years ago, we were blessed with a baby boy. His name was Riley, and he was um, with us only for a few short days, five days. And so you anticipate the birth of your next child when you find out you're pregnant. So here I was thinking, we're gonna have a girl. Sure enough, this precious girl is given to us. And you just, you're overwhelmed, we have a girl. But this whole story leads to, Darren, on that list of names we had, if Kimberly would have been a boy, the name Darren was on our list with a little star. I double checked today. So we feel like we've been given that gift of another son, so yay. Kimberly, I, uh, I actually had a dream that we would have a girl before you were even born, so that's, that's very special to me too. And Darren, like, like Mom said, you were also in our dreams because each time we had she was pregnant, your name also came up. So since you were marrying Kimberly, you got that role now of taking care of her. Because we have till now, we still will, but you're taking over now. We love you both. But what he kneels in, he wash him out and remind him to see his socks under there. Because I can't get out and get on, but I'm going to go to the laundry and I'm going to go to the laundry. And I think what I'm missing, you're a dog, to the learn, 12 o'clock, whatever that must be, and I can't stand and say, ah, there are best of the chocolate milk or toast. They have the two more glove in their life and off the side. Every night, chocolate milk toast. So, and the only reason not that Emma died because then I had like, like no harvest in, but I couldn't make it serious or whatever. So that's what I got missing. And Darren, um, the beach was exactly a lot of burn. But you want him to bring the learn to the after sleep. He had a dung on, but he had learn for this. So, but he was feeling bad learn. your name.